Hello people, I'm Gage, and welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Horizons! Our home is bigger now. Give me some mail. Hey, got a bunch of mail, so from Golivar. I uh, got something, got a gift from him. Happy Home Academy for my home expanding, Cyrano. Everyone's saying that you added onto your place, and he gave me something cool. You trying for the biggest home on the island? Well, I reckon you got a good shot, a good start on the rest of us. Uh, here's something to help you fill all that extra space. Honestly, I kind of wish that the animals could have bigger homes as well. That would be really cool. It'd give you another thing to work towards. Anyway, Golobar's present to us is... A pirate rug! Okay, so I can only have that inside. Present from the Happy Home Academy is the Marimba. Marimba. Oh. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> Honestly, I think that'd look really good in Kitty's house. Uh, we got a present here. I don't remember who it's from. It's from Cyrano. The Velvet Stool. We already have one of these, but uh, they are nice indeed. And a present from the uh, from Luna is just the Dream Bell Exchange ticket. I hear a gift. I hear a gift. Where is the gift? Um, oh, DIY gift. DIY of the day. Oh my God! It's a gift from the gods. I don't even think we got one yesterday, which makes me very sad. The bunnies have been taking over. They've been invading my island recently. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at our DIY of the day first. We've got angled signpost. There we go. Awesome. Yay. And we got... I just Let me look at the freaking present. It's probably just iron. It's a... Um, something. I, what? Okay, I dropped it. Alright, I guess it can only go on walls. <laughs> Yo, hold on. What? We got the egg message bottle. Hoppity ho! What a happy find! You picked this up so you get the prize of an egg recipe! A wonderful day, a wonderful you! Could this be your lucky item? You better start crafting it out, crafting it lickety split if you want to find out. Yours truly, the lucky bunny. Money Day Wardrobe! Yay! Finally, we're getting more items. I hope we get a bunch of Bunny Day items today, because I need to start working on getting all of those. Seriously. We're running out of time. Like, we still have until the 31st. It's the 26th, though. So, oh wait, hold on! We just got one! We just got one! No way! Hey, Bunny Day Fence! There we go. Cool. Coco, what you thinking about? Can we talk, Butterbean? I've been thinking about... Thinking maybe I should move and try living elsewhere. I've heard... I've, I've had fun living here, but I've been itching to make a change. Don't wait! You're creepy, but I need you to stay here because you're the personality of the island because you're crazy and creepy. Was that rude? I hope that wasn't rude. Hey, look at this! We got our first... Our first black rosebuds. Yep, you can get black roses. They're pretty cool. And actually, you need to get a bunch of black roses. Uh, actually, just a couple. You need a couple black roses so you can make another type of rose. But we're not going to talk about that yet. Uh, where should I put these? Maybe we should put them along this path. Yeah, we'll put them along this path. Why not? There we go. I'll plant that here. Gift from the gods! What is it? Is this a gift from the gods? I think it is. Let's see. 10,000 bells! Thank you, gods. Hey, kitty. Let's check up on you today. Well, hello there. Let's talk. There's something about this time of day that makes me say the same thing as every other days. Let's talk. No matter what's going on in my life, I always need a hot- I only need a hot bath that all my worries melt away. And I tell you, there's nothing better than a glass of oolong tea after a bath. Put one hand on your hip, hold your drink like a movie star, and enjoy the luxury of the moment. The luxury of drinking some tea, you know? I gotta say, that's great, because I love tea. Tea is great, I love tea. You'll never take tea from me. Well, we expanded. And now there's another hole in my wall! Yay! How did that not wake me up, honestly? 
looks like a little treasure map. Okay, I like that. All right, tell me the tell me the turnip prices for today. Sixty-five. It was seventy-three yesterday. <laughs> ah, I guess we'll check again tomorrow. Man. Goldie, I see you're doing much better today. How are you doing, Woof? Hello, Woof. I try to be a good listener, yeah, but be a good talker. What do, what do you want to talk about? You know, you gotta say something interesting at some point. I hear the strangest thing has been happening. I hear that sometimes when you hit rocks, an egg comes out. Oh, and I hear it happens even more often on those islands you get with a Nook Miles ticket. I mean, I know those Tor Islands are supposed to be untouched wilderness, but this really puts the wild in wilderness, doesn't it? Why are you always giving me the good hints? <laughs> uh, I did want to do some Nook Miles tours today because it's been a while since we've done some and we need to find bamboo. <laughs> we need to find bamboo at some point, right? So, I mean, I might as well. What's up? Welcome. Well, well, what do we have here? I haven't seen your face before. My name, the name's Kix. You might have, might have guessed it, but I'm the source of shoes, socks, and bags around here. I swing by this island every now and then, and now and again, I look forward to seeing you around, chum. All right, all right. If it's all right with you, why not take a look-see at my offerings on this fine day? Sure. So, uh, Kix will sell you shoes and socks and bags, and that's pretty much it. Uh, buying a bunch of stuff from Kix isn't really gonna give you anything, I don't think. Um, so, honestly, I don't really want any of these. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> None standing out? No problem. Come by and visit any time, eh? Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll sell you shoes. I don't get the point of Kix in this game, honestly. Like, unless he has his own shop, which he doesn't, there's not, not really a point to him. <laughs> not, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, there's not really a point to Kix if he doesn't have his own shop or anything. Because the Able Sisters exist. Now, honestly, I'm very disappointed with the fact that there aren't as many shops as there was in New Leaf. There were way more shops in New Leaf. Like, in this game, there are just no shops at all. And I get that you can customize your character and stuff at home. Like, Shampoodle used to exist, and you'd get to change your hairstyle and stuff there. You even get to play as a me like that, by the way. Uh, Kitty, I don't want to hit you with a shovel, so I need to move. I need you to move. Um, but yeah, you get- you used to be able to play as a me in New Leaf, because, uh, Shampoodle would put your me head on your face. It's really cool, but, uh, you can't do that in this game, and honestly, I really wish there was more weird stuff like that. But there should have been more shops, with the whole point of the game being able to decorate your own island and, like, put stuff wherever you want them to go. It's just really silly that you can't have shops. Like, where are all the shops? Gift from the gods! What is this one? Money? I hope it's money. It's the record box! Yay! I'm gonna sell that. Alright, since we're in the last week of March, I thought it was a good idea to go over which bugs, fish, and sea creatures were leaving after March. So, on screen now is the bug, the single bug, that'll be leaving this month, and that is the Emperor Butterfly. Uh, the hours it appears, the location, the rarity, and the sell price of it are all on screen right now, so if you want to go ahead and go catch that, and you might want to do that before March ends. There are a ton more fish leaving. The Bitterling will be leaving. The Yellow Perch will be leaving. The Stringfish, which I have not caught yet, will be leaving. The Sturgeon, which thank goodness I did catch, will be leaving. The Sea Butterfly. And the Football Fish will all be leaving after March, so make sure you catch those before the end of March. And for the one sea creature leaving after March is done is the Red King Crab. So, I really gotta catch that, like, right now. Let's go. Let's go find a Red King Crab. I have to. 
Hold on, I just got money from a tree. That was an accident. Uh, there we go. Boom. I was trying to shoot at the, uh, at the, uh, bunny gift, and I couldn't get it, but hey, I did it. I did the thing. <laughs> Wait, hold on. We already have another gift? A gift from the gods! Wait. Huh? No! Oh, man, I got something for you. Check it. If I... You got a bunny day crown for me? Plucky. Thank you. Aw. Thank you so much. You know what? Let's look at the crown. It's all the way up here. There we go. Uh, you know what? Let's make it. Let's make the bunny day crown and use it. Let's wear a bunny day crown. We gotta get ourselves into that Easter spirit, so we might as well wear a bunny day crown. Let's do it. Right now. Where's my crafting thingy? There it is. Let's go. Bunny day crown. I only have a single fish egg. <laughs> or water egg, or whatever it's called. I don't care. Let me go ahead and wear the bunny day crown. There we go. It's weird. A gift from the gods! A gift from the gods! And this one won't sink through the water. Give me my gift from the gods. It is... A bamboo wand! So many bamboo recipes! Oh my god. Hey, I got a gyroid! Hey, look, I, I dug up a jingloid. Oh my goodness. We got another... Another dry run to add to Mr. Baby Panda's army. This one looks a little weird. Not gonna lie. <laughs> it does a little jingle! I love it. It's so cute. It's actually not cute. It's actually kind of weird. But, um... I'll take weird. We all know I love weird Nintendo. Weird Nintendo is one of my favorite things. Like... Tomodachi life? Bring that back, please. I need that. I need that back in my life. Another gyroid! Look, I dug up a bloopoid. Are you kidding me? Another bloopoid? Oh no. <laughs> I don't want another bloopoid. I already have a bloopoid. He's already weird. Look at him. Look at the little guy. He's strange. Oh, the bloopoid's a different color. Okay. Cool. But anyway, here we go. <laughs> I made the army expand by two gyroids. Um, I'm gonna have to get more gyroids at some point. <laughs> I wonder if you can find them on the, uh, on the other islands. Maybe you can. Gift from the gods! Give me it! What is this? It's dress pants. Yay, it's green pants. You know, that would have worked for Shamrock Day, probably. <laughs> or not Shamrock Day. Like, uh what what is it? What's it called? What's what's it called? Saint Saint Patty's Day. Oh my god, Jay's Jay's thinking about something. I'm sorry, flowers. Jay? Jay, what do you think about Okay, it's perfect timing. I get distracted when I'm shopping, and sometimes I end up buying two of the same thing. Yay, the conductor's cap. I'm wearing a hat I'd like to keep on, though, so... Okay, thank you. Pretty cool hat. Honestly, with Coco's pilot outfit, I think that hat would really work well for her. But her ears... Her ears would get in the way. I don't think she can wear a hat. Okay, well, never mind. What? You are in this game? Huh? What is it, pal? You need something or something? Hey, I don't mean to butt in, but keep your devices charged for safety's sake, got it? What a gorgeous day. It's bright, it's cheery, and it's lunchtime. Can't beat that. This is Rossetti. Um, in old games, in the past games in the series, autosave wasn't 
in the games. So when you would reset your game or quit the game without saving, Resetty would come up and yell at you the next time you log on to the game. Since autosave now exists, Resetty kind of doesn't need that. So I didn't even know he was in this game. Uh, that's what this is for, the uh, rescue service. As you can see, it kind of has the whole mole theme, like with his whiskers and stuff on there. Um, yeah, that's Rossetti's thing now. Alright. I didn't even know he was in this game. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't know he actually showed up in the game. That's cool. I've never seen that. Give me my coffee, Brewster. It's time. It's time for some coffee. Can I call you Bruce? I'm gonna keep calling you Bruce. I gotta tell you about a dream I had. Uh... A few days ago, a few days ago, I woke up in a cold sweat because my dream was about Pickle Bruce. I, I dreamed of Brewster's face on a pickle. <laughs> He's Pickle Bruce! <laughs> I knew I could count on Brewster to create the perfect blend. I think I'm just saying the same thing now. Over and over again every day. It's fine. I really like the the roost. It's very nice. This is a very nice place to be, honestly. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab my Nook Miles. Do I still need to catch bugs? Still need to catch a few more bugs and uh, de some deep sea creatures. That's cool. I'll do that. Yeah. I need more Nook Miles, man. Um... Because I need more Nook Miles tickets. I can't believe Rossetti is here. That's so cool. That's so cool. Hey! I got a scallop. What's up, Pascal? Are you going to give me a thing? Hey, man. Could I have that scallop? Yep. There you go. Well, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were cool, I left you something you'll dig. While you're while I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you. The deep kind. Feel this. Whales. Consider yourself truth. Yep. Today is a good day. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> Pascal is great, man. He's so great. He he's definitely one of my favorites, for sure. Definitely one of my favorite special animals in Animal Crossing. He's great. Oh, he gave me a pearl. That's cool. I still haven't found a pearl in the sea, but uh, he finally gave me a pearl so I can actually make some of the DIY recipes he's been giving me. That's cool. Oh, dang, this one moves pretty quick. That moved pretty quickly. Yes! I got an Umbrella Octopus! Too bad I'm already soaked. Well, finally a new thing. Okay. It's not the crab I wanted, though. <laughs> I need the crab. It's going away after March. I need it now. Well, hello there, Gage. Just like that, new just like that your home has another proper room, hmm? That's another upgrade to an even cushier lifestyle. Which brings us to... The cost of your remodel! That'll be 548,000 bells! Mm. Oh yes, please make your payments using the Nook Stops ABD feature, as you've done before. One other thing I should mention. Now that you've made some big improvements to your home, I can start offering customization services. This is not about increasing the size of your home. It's about changing the look of your home's exterior. Of course, the things we can change depend on the size of your home, but the customization costs are built in. Which means you can change things freely without additional loans. From your roof to your mailbox. Oh, oh and speaking of your mailbox, not only can you change its design, you can change its location too. Just pick up your mailbox with Y and place it where you'd like. 
I'll make sure your mail knows where to go. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Does that mean I can finally make my path straight instead of a weird curve thing? Yes, indeed. Anyway, I only came in here to grab the rusted part of the day uh, because I completely forgot about it. Uh, Golivar was here yesterday, so I gotta get it. Uh, about my home, I want to know what you're talking about, man. Uh, well, I want to customize. You can customize for 5,000 bells, okay? Sure. Take 5,000 bells from me, I guess. Alright, so we can change the roof, which now you can actually see what it's going to look like before you put it there. Um, and you can change the design of your mailbox. Honestly, I hate my mailbox right now. It looks really dumb. So we're going to change it to an ordinary red mailbox. I like the little red mailbox. Then again, blue matches. Oh, red. The square one's pretty good, though. And the wooden one? I don't like the wooden one. I like the square one. Can I have a normal mailbox? Just a square mailbox? Just Yeah, that looks better. Honestly, just a bland, normal mailbox. I like that. Large mailbox. I can have a giant mailbox. I like the aqua roof, uh, so I think we'll go with something that matches it, which is the blue mailbox. Alright, here we go. I can just pick up my mailbox and put it somewhere. I'm gonna put it here. There we go. Finally, I can fix this. Oh my goodness, it's a gift from the gods! The gift from the gods! Boom. Money? It's probably money. Do I hear another gift? I hear another gift! Where is it? Is it coming in? It's coming in. It's a bunny day gift. Hopefully it's an actual uh, DIY recipe this time. It's probably just a sky egg. It's just a sky egg. Nope. It's not just a sky egg. Oh my god. It's a bunny day stool. Okay. Finally, we're getting to do all the bunny day stuff. It's been taking like three days. <laughs> Let's see what this is. It is uh, this. Yeah, it's just a big old egg you sit on. Honestly, I kind of like the bunny day set. It it really, it's really weird. <laughs> I, I like it. But I finally fixed my path so it's straight and not weird here. Now that I can move my mailbox, which is now here. Yeah! I got a pearl oyster! Aw, oh, shucks. Don't clam up now. Well, at least it's something new. One of the things I really don't like about uh, diving in this game is the fact that you can't access your inventory. Like, you can't move stuff around, you can't let go of things, you have a bunch of... Like, I want to get rid of these, or like these sea, cu sea cucumbers or whatever. I can't drop them here. I have to go onto the beach and let go of them there. It's kind of annoying, honestly. You know, I thought scallops were rare, but now I think I'm wrong because I've gotten four today and three on this one trip. A, a fourth scallop on this one trip. Okay, yeah, scallops are definitely not rare then. I need bamboo. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, the first Nook Miles ticket! Of course, after I buy a bunch of Nook Miles tickets, the first one is a bunch of bamboo. Oh my god! Oh my god! We found bamboo! Finally! Bamboo shoot! Ah, it took so long. It took so long. Oh my god! <laughs> Uh, I can finally have bamboo. Alright, so the way you want to go about growing bamboo in this game is you want to go ahead and dig up these bamboo shoots and uh, then plant them again. You just want to replant them. So, we're going to do that on our island now. Oh my god. Here's the thing. I've got two Nook Miles tickets because I thought this was going to take me a while. Nope. It was the first frickin' island I went to. I'm so happy. I'm not happy that I wasted 2,000 Nook Miles, but, um... It's fine. Can I go home now? 
I have my I have my freaking uh, bamboo shoots, so I don't really care about anything else. So let me go home. All right, there we go. I planted my bamboo shoots. We should see some bamboo here soon. Finally, of course, I put them over here near the baby panda farm. I think I thought it just made a lot of sense. What's up, Wendy? I need your help, Gage. I keep trying, but I can't catch a black bass. The stress is really getting to me, and there's nothing worse for your musical creativity than fish stress. <sighs> I'm, I'm kind of busy right now. I understand. I'll go look for it by myself. Come on, it's not that hard, Wendy. Here's our extra room. If anybody has any ideas on what we should do with this, let me know. Uh, I think maybe this will be the bunny day room. Maybe we'll do the bunny day stuff in here, probably. Uh, if there's even enough room, there's a lot of bunny day furniture, I'm just saying. Hey, look, looks like Kitty is reading a book. Oh, yes, we meet again. I want to chat. A cute tea table here in the great outdoors. Isn't it just the sweetest thing? In fact, it's so sweet, I'm now craving a little treat. That what 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 I wouldn't do give for some French toast. You want some French toast? Is French toast a recipe in this game? Probably not. Yeah, probably not, but you never know. Hey Plucky, you're not sleeping now. Thanks for coming around. Let's talk. I love kids. I know I don't look like it, but I was an awesome babysitter back in the day. The little tots were always running circles around me, but you can't just but you just can't top those smiles, Chicky Poo. It really tired me out. I it, it was kind of great though. Jay, have we even talked today? Hey, hey, we're gonna have a good sweat. Let's chat. When the weather is nice like this, it really makes me want to do some water skiing. Hey. Well, I guess as long as I f I get exercise, any sport's fine, really. Yo, Keaton, what are you cooking up? Welcome, welcome. Did you sense the ex exquisite scent of Chef Keaton in the ke in the kitchen? Yeah, in the kitchen. That's what he would say. <laughs> what you making? Glad you asked. It's a little treat called Mindstrone Soup. Maybe you've heard of it. Um, but have you had it Keaton style? You have not. Let's fix that, shall we? I can give you an advanced copy of the recipe. Just promise me that you'll try. You'll let me try your Mindstrom soup. Something tells me that Keaton is the type of person who thinks they make incredible food, but it just tastes bad. It is burnt. You burnt a soup. You burnt a soup. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Mindstrom soup. Let's go ahead and look at that. I want to I wanna see what it looks like. It's a soup. Cool. It looks better than the margarita pizza, which, by the way, is an actual thing. I have been told this. Uh, and apparently the bananas are uh, mozzarella. <laughs> or not the bananas, like the white circles in there underneath the basil. As mozzarella. Then what are the other things? Wait, now I'm starting to realize just how even more stupid this thing is. Now it has... Okay. It has bananas, though. And olives and tomatoes. Then what are those? Is that just a different cheese? I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know at all. What's up, Mabel? How you doing? You want to know something I keep forgetting to do? Hey, um, it's great that you're such a loyal customer and everything, but I've got a ton of work to get through. Thanks for understanding. Uh, like I said before, I appreciate the visit, but I'm just buried in work right now. Mabes? Hey, Mabes! I've got a customer who needs help here. Uh, come on! Get along with me, Sable. A cap a cap? <laughs> I'm not gonna get it, but that's funny. I decided to take my son to the museum. He was bored. Tiramisu's Rex's mouths are so teethy. Man, I bet they have made us into snacks with one bite. Who knew dead rocks were so cool? <laughs> yeah, he won't talk anymore. That's it for today. 
tomorrow, we'll see what we can do. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, because that's the nature of Animal Crossing. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Good night.